you want to know how to spy on your competitor's website, there's this really nifty tool you can use called SEMrush. I'll leave a link down below where you can get signed up for a trial and use all these features that I'm going to show you. But essentially, with this tool, you can see almost anything that your competitor is doing with their website. So let's say, for instance, you're an electrician in Phoenix, Arizona. Just a random example. So we'll come down here, type this into Google. All you do is, in your example, take your main keyword and location if you're a local service business and put it into Google and see what comes up. So we get like Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack. We're just going to ignore all those for right now. But we want to look for like an actual competitor. So it looks like Parker's and Sons. Here's uh, Phoenix Electricians today. We can take a look at this one. It seems like all they do is electrical work. So this might be a good one to take a look at. But we'll just drop it into the search bar up here on SEMrush and click search. And then that's going to go pull a bunch of data about what in the world is going on with this website. More specifically, their advertising, especially search engine optimization, search engine marketing, like pay-per-click marketing, things of that nature. So let's take a look at this breakdown and see what they have going on here. First of all, we've got the authority score. It's pretty low. That's going to indicate that this is not a super crazy business or anything. If we want, we could take a look at this other competitor and see sort of what they look like. I usually like to look at more than one competitor and you'll notice that this is actually a URL so it's probably going to give us a little bit different results than if we were to just search for the entire domain. And you can see these guys have an authority score of 32 which is significantly higher than a 9. However, just based on the fact that there is a site ranked in the position number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the first page of Google for this term, and they have an authority score of 9, indicates to me that there's some potential from an SEO perspective with ranking for this term specifically. But, <laughs> needless to say, we could start digging through and seeing what they have going on. We can see all their backlinks. We can see this company is running a lot of ads on paid search. So that's going to be like Google Ads, for instance. You can even open that up and see what keywords they're advertising on. They're doing all sorts of different stuff, solar power generators, and I guess they do more than just uh, electrical work. But uh, we can take a look and see how their backlink portfolio looks, um, and a whole bunch of different information that is even their competitors. Um, it's going to give us a lay of the land in terms of what they're doing from a marketing perspective. And then we can go do the exact same thing for the other competitors and start to see what terms they're ranking for, um, what the keyword intent is, their ranking distribution. So they're only ranked in the top three spots for like five terms, which is going to be pretty normal. Um, again, seeing who the competitors are. And from here, we can start to figure out what they're doing to have success and then work backwards to implement some strategies for more success on our end. So like this competitor is not running any paid ads. This competitor is running a ton of paid ads. So it might be a good idea to think about running some ads on Google. See how that works out. There's not a lot of backlinks here. So if this company were trying to outrank the other one, they'd probably want to get a bunch of backlinks here. So you can get the idea. You know, I have plenty of videos that show exactly how this tool works in more detail terms of like how to analyze backlinks, how to get backlinks, all that sort of stuff. But in terms of being able to spy on your competitor's websites, there really is no better tool than SEMrush, in my opinion. Just because of the breadth of, of stuff you can see, you can see all sorts of information about their keywords, their ranking position, some, some local SEO stuff, uh, even information about their social media, their pay-per-click advertising. It's really like taking a look under the hood of the marketing that's happening on your competitor's website. And then armed with that information, you can develop strategies for your own business that are going to make you superior to your competitors. And that's really what digital marketing is all about, right? 
So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to spawn your competitors' websites or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.